So, you want to make a custom boss fight in Minecraft? Well, you've come to the right place, my friend. Because in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do something like this. With just a few command blocks. So, without further ado, let's jump into this minecart right here. And let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are in a completely other world. And this is the arena that I'm going to be using for this next boss fight. Now, I'm going to make a witch boss fight for this. So, a few commands might change depending on what boss you want to have. But let's just get straight into this. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is break out an area like this. Now, you don't have to have it like this. But this is what I'm going to be working with. After this, you're going to place a repeating command block right over here. And this one is going to be a repeat always active command block with a zero delay in ticks. And you're going to type in slash test for at p square bracket r equals 10. After you've done this, you're going to place a comparator right here. And then grab yourself a piston. As well as a block of redstone. And what this does is it detects the player. So whenever I get close, you will see that it does extend the piston. The next thing you're gonna do is type into the chat slash game rule command blocks enabled and set that to false. This is just so you can work with the command blocks without having to worry about the piston pushing it forward. After you've done this you're gonna go a little bit away to a location like this one for example and what we're gonna do is build a 3x3x3 bedrock box. We're going to use a wither for the boss of bar, so this one's going to be really, uh, really important to be indestructible. After you've built this, you can break down a block and check what coordinates the middle block is. So for me, that's 194, 456. And you can write these down in something like notepad or really anything that allows you to keep some notes. After you've done this, you can close the, uh, the bedrock box and we're not going to be touching this ever again. Now we're going to return over to the arena that you've got and you're going to place on one of the sides of the redstone block a command block. This one is going to be an impulse needs redstone with a zero delay in ticks. And this one you're going to type in slash summon wither quotation marks whatever name you want your boss fight to have and then end the quotation marks. Now I want it to be purple so I'm using the key to make it both large and a different color. If you want to know about that I have a short on it so... After you've typed in the, the name within the quotation marks, you're just going to type in the coordinates that you typed in earlier. So for me, that was 194, 456. Now that you've done that, you can grab yourself another command block and place it facing like this. So this arrow will be pointing towards this one, and this one should be pointing this way. Now this will of course vary depending on how you decide to build it, but this is how I'm going to make it. And this next one you're going to make sure is a chain always active, 150 delay in ticks command block and you're gonna type in slash summon whatever mob you want to summon as the boss fight and then the coordinates where you want to summon that boss so for me that is right above this block so that's 180 413 after you've done this you're gonna place another chain command make sure that the arrow is still facing this way and then you're gonna type into this one slash play sound whatever sound you want and then at P. This one's a chain always active command. Now this command is completely optional. It just adds a sound effect. But I just think it adds a lot. And I will leave a link down below to check out all the sound effects in the game. So you just replace the mob.witch.ambient with whatever sound effect you want. After you've done this, this side is actually completed. So you can cover it up if you want to. And now we're going to move on to the other side. So now that you're done with these commands right here. You're going to place another command block on the other side of a redstone block. You could also place it right here if you want to or even going upwards depending on what fits you the best. But you're gonna want to place it so that it touches one of the sides of the redstone block whenever it will be pushed out. This command block should be a repeat needs redstone command with a zero delay in ticks. And into this one you're gonna type slash test for at e square bracket type equal to whatever mob your boss fight is. Now this one will make it so that whenever the witch is here, the wither will also be alive, but whenever the witch dies, the wither will also die. So, so moving on, you're gonna grab yourself a redstone comparator, once again facing outward, grab yourself a redstone dust, and then grab yourself a redstone torch. This redstone torch should be placed right here, 
So whenever there is a witch, this one will shut off. After this, you're going to place another redstone dust. You are going to place another command block right here. And in this one, you're going to type in slash kill at E type equals wither. And this one's not going to change depending on what name you have on your boss fight. This one is always going to be the wither. After you've done this, this site is also completed. So you can cover it up like this. So now that you've placed all these command blocks, you will actually have a fully working boss fight. However, there's one thing missing and that is of course custom effects or different phases of the boss fight. Now I'm not going to go over phases in this video, that will be another video, but what I will go over is this command that I have right here. And this one is a very simple buff to the witch and it just gives, and it's just slash effect at E type witch health boost. 99999 30 false this one's just gonna and this one is right and this one is these and this one is these as you can see i'm having some severe problems speaking in this segment so i'll instead explain it right here all that this command block does is it gives the witch an effect that slightly buffs it compared to the regular witches this didn't actually end up working as you'll see later but you can give it any buff you want this is the one I'm gonna go with and you're gonna just place a repeat always active command block do that exact same command just switch out the effect health boost to something else and you will have a fully working boss fight and so now you should be ready for the boss fight however before we test it out you're of course gonna need to go slash game rule command blocks enabled and set that to true because otherwise the commands wouldn't work so now let's try it out I realized the health boost effect isn't that crazy, but there you go. That's how you make a pretty simple boss fight inside of Minecraft. If you guys did enjoy this video, consider subscribing, liking and all that stuff. Less than 1% of my viewers are actually subscribed, which... That's depressing, we're almost at 1000 subscribers. So if you did enjoy, it would mean a ton if you subscribed. I mean, I have tons of other content that you can check out, like this one right here and this one right here. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Have a great day and goodbye. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Have a great day and goodbye.